Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to have a look at some examples of aluminium type of equations. So the first one, if we look at this, we've got aluminium plus fluorine going to aluminium fluoride. Now, you probably know that I don't like these um, odd type of elements here, like three, you know, three fluorines on this side, because it gets really difficult to balance. So we're going to apply those um, the, the method of just adding up the elements on either side. So let's start with that. So let's have a look at this. We've got aluminium there, one of them. We've got two fluorines. And that goes to give one aluminium again, but this time, oh, aluminium, fluorine, fluorine, fluorine. Okay, so they're clearly not balanced. You've got an excess of fluorines on this side, but only a tiny bit. Now, if you remember, If you multiply that by one and a half, that will give you two times one and a half is three. And you could say that's balanced, but remember that's that's not a really good method of doing this. We don't talk in fractions of of compounds. You can actually have one and a half moles of a compound reacting with aluminium, but if you're trying to balance an equation, it's it's the accepted way is to use whole numbers. So we're going to use whole numbers. So straight away you should be able to spot, if I can multiply that by one and a half to give me three there, then all I need to do is simply double the lot up. So let's see if that works. It's a very quick tutorial this I hope. I said that and it usually takes me twice as long. So let's multiply everything up by two. So I just need to delete that one and a half. So the idea is we're going to multiply things up by two simply because we spotted so if we multiply that by one and a half, it will give us three. So two aluminiums, that'll be two fluorine um, molecules, and that should give us two of them. Actually, I got that wrong. I'm hoping you spotted that deliberate mistake there. That'll be three there, won't it? That's the whole point of doubling it up so we can get the three there. Okay, so it'd be three fluorines and that was quite tricky to say. So let's add these extra elements in, so extra aluminium. We've got two of them now. How many fluorines we've we got? We've actually got six. Started off with two, so let's do it in twos. Okay, there's six there. How many aluminium we've we got? Well we've now got two on this side. We've got two times three. Six. Perfect. So very, very quickly we balance our equation. Give that a tick, give that a tick, give that a tick. So you see how, how easy it was? Even if you might have worked that out in your head that it was a fraction, multiply it by two, gets a whole number, and we can very quickly balance that equation using this method as well. So that's uh, that's one example with aluminium. So until next time, bye for now. 